Okay, we're feeding um, black rat snakes today, or what they're sometimes called eastern rat snakes now under the reclassification. This is part of a new collection of a pair of snakes that I acquired a few weeks back um, when it was cold, but now it's early spring and things are warming up. This is uh, March the 24th, 2017. So, and uh, we're going to get these guys nice and plump. We got a quite a few of these <coughs> Arctic mice come in a little box like these. Uh, when I adopted these, the um, owner very nicely donated some mice with it. So we'll probably graduate these guys up to some bigger mice this summer. But uh, this is a little pair. I'm not sure if they are male and female or not. But well, if they breed, then that's a possibility. But anyway, these um, these two snakes we have named Pony. This this is this Pony here. Um, no, this Pony. This is Pony. This is Pony, and this is Joe Lenardi over here. All right, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give a few of these guys. I'll just throw a couple in there. I'm just going to hold it up like this. You want to be careful with this practice, by the way. If you're watching this on YouTube, you want to be careful because the snake could accidentally grab your finger. And once that fe feeding response is initiated, in my experience, they're not uh, very prone to letting go. So I had an ever, I don't know if I told you, I had an ever like dried snake, a pretty good sized one once bite my finger and wouldn't let go and he had my finger like halfway down <laughs> I was pouring cold I had cold water on the tap and everything else and could not get him off finally did but my finger swelled up for a number of days okay here we go there we go he almost got me <laughs> all right this one's still eating the first one yeah it looks like a cobra <laughs> that's right so anyway uh, we'll get the we're gonna get these guys these are uh, these black rat snakes are Eastern rat snakes, whatever you want to call them, uh, from uh, southern Indiana. Anyway, they they um, they could get considerably big. They could get really quite big in the range of four to six feet even. I've seen some out. These were captive bred, but I've seen some out in the wild that were um, on the Kentucky side of the river in particular, I've seen some that were massive, really, really good sized snakes. So anyway, these are snakes that you find a lot of times around barns and outbuildings and places like that. Uh, they're very good for rodent control. Okay, very good for rodent control. Um, I mean, vermin would take over farms probably in some areas if they didn't, uh, if we didn't have these guys around. So their importance, their critical importance in the ecosystem cannot be stated strongly enough. Look, here I am talking about Kentucky and Indiana. We've got a map right behind us here. So we are right across from the right up just south of that red dot there above the T in Kentucky. <clears throat> we also have in our pretty modest collection right now, but we have, we have a uh, Florida king snake downstairs. It's a really nice snake and not nice in terms of temperament, but just quite handsome. Yeah, well, when they get done, when they get done eating, they have a had rock here. We could get something more natural from outside. We're probably going to um, relocate these snakes to a bigger cage in the next uh, month or so. Much bigger cage and uh, so where they can roam um, <clears throat> a lot. This is a really, uh, this is a perfectly fine kind of starter cage but they're going to be getting bigger this summer probably and as they do uh, we're going to expand the size of their facilities accordingly. We can't keep them in our large 160 gallon tank or whatever it is downstairs, which is tons of room. 
because the king snake has got it all to himself right now. I'll be conducting some presentations though with uh, groups this summer and these snakes will be part of the presentation. Yep. I think, I think the giant aquarium downstairs can you change it to a um, aquarium for turtles? Oh, well, I mean it would certainly be suitable for that. I don't think it's got any cracks or anything like that. This is, now this is Joel and Artie, right? Yeah. Okay. Ponies. He's darker in the in the on the uh, posterior here, or uh, second half of his body there. Let's see, is this guy ready for another one? Yeah, he's like, bring it on. Okay, right. These are um, for those of you watching on YouTube. These are um, fuzzies. I may have mentioned that. They actually look like they're more in between fuzzy and pinky. I don't know. Anyway, Arctic mice. <clears throat> manufactured by Reptile Industries Inc. in Naples, Florida. So give them a little plug. Nice look, this nice little box here. Um, I like the box. Is this is what it comes in. You can see Arctic mice. Okay. <laughs> and uh, turn this into a food review. And oh, that's it. Turn the camera over here. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to do a. Uh, you'll have to wait until the next video because this video I'm trying. I decided to do kind of an instructional video for people that are interested in snakes. So, hold on. Uh, save the comedy for just for just a few minutes. Okay, it's going to be a little bit more. Okay. All right. Thank you. It's my daughter right here. She likes snakes too. My second uh, second my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is what the Arctic mice look like. They're cold to the touch. We had them sitting out overnight, though, to kind of defrost them. Snakes don't really care. I mean, they're obviously not in terms of flavor and so forth. <laughs> I don't think the... Like, would you rather have chicken nuggets or french fries? Uh, I don't like french fries. Yeah. I don't think they really care whether or not there's a nuttiness to them yeah, yeah. or a saltiness or... I'm just going to do this real quick. No, wait. You can't... Don't, wait. This is a... I'm trying to do kind of a important uh, instructional video so hang on give me a couple more minutes and then I'll let you uh, take over okay, after I okay look here we go again I'm gonna hold this right here dangle it right here for Mr. Lenardi and let's see he tilts his head just a little bit so he can see it he certainly can scent as well um, thanks to his Jacobson's organ and the tongue and so forth which provides information for him in his environment so you're trying their food. A pet store. But now these were the adopted snakes. Now he's not. I'm not. Well, yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, I was beginning to wonder whether or not you actually were interested in another one, or if you were thinking I'm on a diet now. He's going to drop it. Now he's got. Oh, he, if he does, he's going to drop it in a glass of milk here. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> But these snakes are pretty easy to provide husbandry for, and um, you know it's you know you want to you want to keep the cage fairly clean, and uh, you don't want it to the humidity level to get you know crazy or anything like that. Clean water in a small dish. We get you know you can provide a larger dish in a larger cage, but you don't want the water dish to take over a lot of the space and so forth. There's a lot of natural sunlight that comes in here right now. Like I said, we're going to probably move these to a much bigger cage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is just a starter cage right now. Um, but you know, they get some sunlight, some basket. We take them out quite a bit. We handle them probably more than you than you should. But uh, they're very acclimated to handling and so forth. And uh, you know, they get out and, and let them crawl around stuff a little bit. I mean, while we're holding them, of course. But um, but we're going to get some branches and stuff like that and set up a bigger cage. Mm -hmm. Now this is just a starter uh, thing for right now. And uh, this this tank here would probably work better for like, if you were going to keep like maybe small subterranean type snakes, like ring necks or worm snakes or brown snakes or something like that, this would, this would probably work better for that. But this is an okay starter setup and um, We'll graduate them on to something bigger soon. So, anyway, these are eastern rat snakes, aka black rat snakes, from the genus Salafe. And, um, you know, docile, uh, 
care is, uh, I don't want to say the care is minimal, because, you know, I might be, sound like I'm trying to encourage neglect or something, but it uh, doesn't require, you know, every day you do something. Uh, it's just sort of just an ongoing kind of thing. And, uh, you know, they're not especially striking snakes in terms of, uh, I mean, in terms of the uh, coloration and so forth. These are pretty basic rat snakes. There's many, many rat snakes that are much more colorful, but they're strong, they're hardy, uh, they, they're, 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 t they're not prone to, like, trying to take off while you're holding them particularly. So if you're doing presentations and that kind of thing, they're good snakes for that. They're good snakes for kids to come up and touch if they've never touched a reptile or a snake or whatever, um, or maybe even to hold them and teach them how to cradle them and so forth. Because, um, you know, they calm down very nicely um, after, you know, they get used to people and so forth. And um, so anyway, I, if you're going to, especially if you're going to do repti your presentations, now if you want something a little more exotic, you might go with some of the different morphs of corn snakes or something like that, or maybe some of the European rat snakes, rat snakes from other continents and stuff. And uh, many of them are amazingly affordable. I wouldn't do that because he's still got his feeding response, and you might think that you're, you know, you don't want to touch him until he is out of that. But if you just want a basic rat snake for presentations or to show to people or just to, as a starter rat snake, these are pretty good. But they do get big, and you need to be aware that they, if you're going to keep them long term, they're, you know, I mean, it's a responsibility, and they're going to grow. And if you're feeding them at a pretty normal rate, they're going to get big and muscular and so forth. But we're not talking pythons. I mean, you know, they're not gigantic or anything. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're going to need a sizable cage. If you've ever been to a nature center at a park, uh, or something like that, a forestry, and they have, you know, sometimes they'll have some of these on display, and uh, usually they'll have them in pretty good size cages, and that's appropriate. So anyway, maybe I'll give this guy one last one, and then that'll be the end of the video. Let's see here. Yeah. Don't you don't want to do this with larger rat snakes because, you know, like I've had some incidents where hand feeding like this uh, <clears throat> got lamentable because the snake grabbed my hand and stuff, which, you know, the bite itself doesn't really hurt that much, but it's the <laughs> that they wouldn't let go after that because they thought they had their prey. And that got kind of interesting. So it's not something I would recommend with larger snakes, simply because it could get difficult trying to get them to disengage. So, But and I don't have to feed them like this. I could put them in a separate tub and feed them without doing all this and everything. But I just thought it might make for a slightly more interesting video. He is trying. Dude, the problem... There we go. All right, I was having trouble holding it still. This guy's kind of calming down, so... Um, anyway, after you do this, and you feed them a few of these mice, I'm feeding them quite a few because these are small, these are like little popcorn chicken type things, but after you... Um, <clears throat> uh, if you feed, if fed them a larger mouse, you know, one or two at a setting or something, you know, you wouldn't, you know, you could go a couple weeks after that, or maybe even a little longer than that. Snakes don't have to eat on a constant basis. But if you want them to be plump, and especially if you're thinking about breeding them down the road, uh, you want some good weight and size and stuff on your females. And um, so, you know, you just have to, you, know, you after a while you can tell what's a healthy snake look like. These guys are a little bit skinny because, you know, they're probably all feed during the winter months before I acquired them, and that's normal. Um, and they'll plump up pretty quickly so that's no problem at all um, and I had them off feed for a while while I was trying to while I was getting them acclimated but it's easy it's pretty easy for them to catch up and uh, but you don't have to feed them you know it's not a doesn't have to become a major expense issue I will say one more thing before I conclude uh, I have not done the wholesale mice thing really and I've been in the hobby for many many years I mean, off and on with snakes since I was a kid, since, you know, the early 1980s and stuff. And I've not really done the wholesale mice thing, but that's probably the most affordable way to go if you're going to, if you've got more than a few snakes, really. But you can buy them on site, and I, you know, sometimes I'll go down to like Super Pets and stuff and just buy a couple on site. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but, you know, if you just want to get a couple mice real quickly, take them back to the house, you don't have to fill with the ordering and all that stuff, and you're already in the area, you know, then, and you can get them on site and look at them and decide what size you want and everything, but you just have to decide what your budget is and uh, what's easiest for you, but this is a company, Reptile Industries Inc. in Naples, info at arcticmice.com, that I would definitely consider ordering from the future. 
um, and probably will use them in this next year. The original owner of these snakes did, and I probably will as well. So, a little plug for that company, and, um, and maybe I'll also use Super Pets on occasion too. All right, well, I'm running out of time on this video. I'm showing that I've only got a, uh, 18 seconds or something left. So, these are again um, of our, uh, black rat snakes, eastern rat snakes, uh, and they're just nice snakes. This is our video for March 24th, 2017. Over and out.